Quotes from, Thomas A. Kempis. From the Kindle, Deep Christian Quotes in Bible Verses. First quote. It is much safer to be subject than it is to command. Many live in obedience more from necessity than from love. Such become discontented and dejected on the slightest pretext, they will never gain peace of mind unless they subject themselves wholeheartedly for the love of God. Second quote. Be thankful for the smallest blessing and you will deserve to receive greater. Value the least gifts no less than the greatest, and simple graces as especial favors. If you remember the dignity of the giver, no gift will seem small or mean. Third quote. Be yourself. The man who is neither bent upon pleasing his fellows, nor afraid of offending them, will enjoy great peace. Therefore, a man ought to root himself so firmly in God, that he will not need the consolations of men. Fourth quote. A sure way of retaining the grace of heaven, is to disregard outward appearances, and diligently to cultivate such things, as foster amendment, of life and fervor of soul, rather than to cultivate those qualities that seem most popular. Fifth quote. For it is the grace of Christ, and not our own virtue, that gives us the power to overcome the flesh and the world. Sixth quote. How should thy patience be crowned in heaven, if none adversity should befall to thee in earth? If thou wilt suffer none adversity, how mayest thou be the friend of Christ? Seventh quote. My God, sweetness beyond words, make bitter all the carnal comfort that draws me, from love of the eternal and lures me to its evil self, by the sight of some delightful good in the present. Let it not overcome me, my God. Let not flesh and blood conquer me. Let not the world and its brief glory deceive me, nor the devil trip me by his craftiness. Give me courage to resist, patience to endure, and constancy to persevere. Give me the soothing unction of your spirit rather than all the consolations of the world, and in place of carnal love, infuse into me the love of your name. Eighth quote. Every man naturally desires knowledge, but what good is knowledge without fear of God? Indeed a humble rustic who serves God, is better than a proud intellectual who neglects his soul, to study the course of the stars. Ninth quote. Grace is the mastery of truth, the teacher of discipline, the light of the heart, the comforter of affliction the banisher of sorrow, the nurse of devotion. Tenth quote. We would willingly have others perfect, and yet we amend not our own faults. We would have others severely corrected and will not be corrected ourselves. The large liberty of others displeases us, and yet we will not have our own desires denied us. We will have others kept under by strict laws, but in no sort will ourselves be restrained. And thus it appears how seldom we weigh our neighbor in the same balance with ourselves. Eleventh quote. If you desire to know or learn anything to your advantage, then take delight in being unknown and unregarded. A true understanding and humble estimate of oneself, is the highest and most valuable of all lessons. Twelfth quote. Do not try to find a place free from temptations and troubles. Rather, seek a peace that endures, even when you are beset by various temptations, and tried by much adversity. Thirteenth quote. If you can win complete mastery over self, you will easily master all else to triumph over self is the perfect victory. Fourteenth quote. Grant me prudently to avoid him that flatters me, and to endure patiently him that contradicts me. It is no little wisdom for you to keep yourself in silence and in good peace when evil words are spoken to you, and to turn your heart to God and not to be troubled with the judgment of others. Fifteenth quote. God evaluates by this criterion, how much love you invest in what you do is more important than how you do. The one who loves much is actually the one who does much. Thanks.